So, on this very first episode of the Suburban Mechanic, um, we are going to take you through how to build an adjustable strut rod for an early Mustang. This one happens to be a 67. <clears throat> My original strut rods were rusted very badly. Um, bushings were shot, had to come off. The only way to get them off was to cut them off. Cut them off at the threads. Got them out and then realized, well, do I want to spend 100, 100 bucks on a set of new strut rods that are going to have just as much flex as the old? Or can I make something better? Goal of this project was to build a set of adjustable strut rods for under 100 bucks. Um, and I think we did it here. I'll have some info uh, uh, down below um, on the YouTube page, but uh, basically we got a set of chromoly heim joints, three-quarter inch um, from Speedway Motors, as well as a set of left-hand and right-hand jam nuts, a six-inch, three-quarter, 16 swedge tube, set of three-quarter inch grade eight bolts, with washers, lock nut, or lock washer and nut on the other side. We're going to be drilling out the existing um, strut frame mounts um, just forward of where the old bushing was uh, to try and maintain as much geometry as possible on the suspension. So let's get to it. Okay. After a quick cut with my reciprocating saw, um, we are down to our 13 inch mark um, cut off. So now we can get started uh, with our die uh, threading these two ends. Okay, so I've got one of these strut rods now threaded. Um, tip and word of advice. Uh, if you've never threaded anything this large before, um, Best tip is go slow, <laughs> quarter to half turn, back out to release your uh, metal filings. Quarter to half turn, back out, and use a lot of thread cutting oil. So I will thread up the other one and get back to this. Okay, so now we've got both strut rods all painted up through a coat of uh, chassis paint on the strut rods just to... <laughs> Make them look a little better than the rusted piles they were. Alright, so next up, we're just going to thread the pieces on. We've got um, jam nut, then our swedge bolt. Jam nut, thread the swedge bolt onto the heim joints. And we should have a complete assembly. Next up is going to be fitting these up to the suspension, to the lower control arm and finding out exactly where we're going to drill the holes for our cross bolts. Okay. Okay, well I had to make a few modifications. Um, one primary. My length of tube was, when I got everything all together, was too long. I had miscalculated with um, the amount of threading that needed to be inside of the swedge tube. So, no big deal. I had to uh, just cut down my current threads and then re-thread an additional one and a half inches of thread onto these. So as it stands right now, um, the total length of the original strut rod that I have left is at 14 inches. So 14 inches of total length of strut rod. And then I've got one and three quarter inches of threading on the end of it. And that brings us pretty close to the total length um, that we need. The original bushings would have lined up approximately right there. The hole that I have drilled into the um, frame support for the, for the bushing right now is approximately where this nut was. Um, and I'll show that a little bit more in detail. Um, in a few minutes. 
All right, here we are under here, we're test fitting. Um, this is the finished product. So what I've done is I've used the grade eight bolt with two one inch spacers and a pair of spacing washers. Now what I'm gonna do, uh, and that's completely up to everybody else, is I'm going to weld, weld in the spacer and washers um, just to provide a larger uh, shear surface for these bolts, um, but uh, I don't know, very happy with the way this came out.